library union. You know what I mean? You guys all know, you were all there. Yeah. So, I also haven't played songs like this in a long time. The last couple times I played here, um, and the last time I played here, Sam and I did a hip hop set, and before that, I did like a weird industrial thing that just annoyed people, some people. <laughs> you feeling that? Okay. Anyway.
actually sings it. In the record there. All of it? Huh? He sings all of it? He sings that song. I mean, I back him up. So it's not a solo in that. Supposed to be back. Well. No, we gotta judge that so when it counts. Is it not?
God, guys, I'm sorry, I haven't played out in so long. I forgot what I even like to play. The last one's still better for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna play another one from the new, the new EP. You know, I have, I, I have this tape, and um, I made it with Justin and Kim LeClaire and Sarah Mundy and Shannon Stott and Chris O'Stooney and Sam Egan. And that's everybody. Sure. Yeah. And sometimes when I go out to play a show, I just feel really weird about bringing merch and bringing stuff. So I didn't bring any copies of it. But if you feel like hearing it, it's in the internet. And maybe I'll play another show one day and I'll actually bring it. Also, for this show, you want to know something funny? I've been doing Marco Polio songs for 10 years almost. You're 10 so years old. of my goddamn life. Uh, huh? You're so old. I'm not that old. You're so old. I'm younger than you. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only 19. I was a child prodigy. A child folk punk prodigy. I was riding the rails. Me and Johnny Hobo, we were putting up split plex, plexi discs back in like 98, I put on my first one. It wasn't that good, but you can still find it on eBay, but that's how you're right there. I also made like a collection of songs, because I, I, I sometimes refer people to the Bandcamp page where my music is posted online, and they're like, oh, you got a lot of stuff, I uh, yeah. <laughs> just kind of... I go, I'd like to hear it, but I mean, I don't know where to start. Which, I mean, that happens. Sometimes with the band you check out, but they have too many albums, and so you, you put it off for a long time, you don't know where to start. Right? So, to help you cross that bridge, I made this sampler. It's got songs from all the albums. And you can see which ones you think are shite, and which ones you think you might want to check out. But, I didn't bring it. But again, that, that's also in the internet, but maybe one day, soon, we'll have a redo. But I'm going to play a couple more songs, is that cool? Yeah. So this song is on the new EP too, and Justin plays guitar on it. This is like, this is cool, this is like a group band. Yeah, this is like behind the music. It's like behind the music. <laughs> Shit.
And people still, I still go on tour and they book me and I do this in other cities. And I, I still make money. People buy my records and shit all the time online and, and at the shows. I sell on a tape most of the time. I, uh, it seems hard to believe. I'm going to play two more songs. Maybe one more. Huh? And like, you know what's funny too, is like, if you're like, if you're Daniel Johnston or, or Paul Barabo, you can get away with this sort of stuff. You guys, you guys ever seen Paul Barabo? Sometimes, sometimes he doesn't play any songs, just, he just rants the whole time. And it, it, he, that guy can go, oh, hey, I want to go on tour for six months, and he's, he's, he's in. I don't have an illustrious beard. I can barely grow a fucking beard. That's why I'm not that cool. Maybe you should put bear in your name. Matt Bear. Matt Bear. <laughs> That's my screen name on that one forum. Bear Pony. Uh, <laughs> bear Pony. <laughs> um, Barely Pony. I have on my set list here a song called Mole in the Ground. And it's about a man saying, I wish I were a mole in the ground. He would take that mountain down. Um, I can't put that song on how to play it, but it's a nice folk song. I also have a song called Peg and All which is about how this guy used to make shoes for a living and then the shoe making machine came in and destroyed his business and put him out of, out of work and that's a really great song too. That, I know how to play that song, but it's, it's kind of a bummer. Um, but then that's going to happen to all of us. Today I read an article online about um, this. It's basically, it's like a, like a remote control sex toy where where this is what happens, is the person actually has sex with the machine. But there's a video, and the machine simulates the actions of the video. And there's also like a remote control part of it, so people can be on a webcam in another place, working the remote control to doing you on, and wherever you are. And this is, I mean, this is the world we live in. And this is this company, this is the first machine they've ever put out. It's the first model and it's all it's really man, you're gonna be telling your grandkids. I remember when we didn't have sexual machines, and they're gonna say, Fuck you, grandpa, take your pills. So this song is kind of about that sort of thing.
best dressed up and sing every good song that pops in your head. Cause life is an uphill climb to a rapid decline and then you're dead. Oh, crap. 